descent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet. I should like to extend the greetings of the government and the people of Canada to the extraterrestrial inhabitants. <laughs> And you saw nothing out of the ordinary? No. I heard something. Like an explosion. Or a jet engine. It's very sudden. Did you see anything else strange that day? I was on the way back to the holding area, and I saw a couple of guys in black ERT wear take someone away from where the heat distortion was. But you didn't get a good look at him? We escorted the subject from the vehicle directly to the underground facility. We? Myself and Agent 36649. We made the handoff to agents in the compound and returned to security duty. Were you aware of the subject's identity? I was made aware of it, yes. I had to be for security reasons. And this didn't bother you? Not at all. This facility was designed for that purpose.
I wish you had never told me anything. I wish I never found out about any of this. I know. I know it's not your fault, it's just... They've been following me. I see them everywhere. They, they got my editor, Dominic, already. It, it wasn't an accident. I'm sorry. I, I have to go. I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry, I just really need you to leave me alone right now. I'm a great admirer of your work, Sandy. Who is this? Your biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I want you. I know Jansen is. Thanks. So what have you got? You got an idea on her yet? It's uh, Sandra Sandy Templeton, 26, lived alone. She was a reporter for that TO23 news show. Right. Was it a suicide? Neighbors heard a shot around 4 a.m. Nothing else. Walls in here are pretty thick, though. So can we determine the time of death? Um, no more than a couple hours ago. I do know if she's on any street drugs, any medication. We're looking into her records. Toxicology will be back after the autopsy. And is that her gun? Well, it doesn't look like it was registered. No, this wasn't a suicide. There should be burn marks around the wound from the gun being pressed against their head. No powder on her hands. And the angle of the blood is it's next to impossible. Plus, women rarely use guns for suicide. Do you think that's the type of gun she'd own? Well, she was a TV personality. Maybe she had a stalker. Chris, two more maybe from the same station. All right, we need everybody out of here. That includes you two detectives. Show. You find something? They're talking on the phone while driving. Isn't that illegal, detective? <laughs> Chance, is this some type of practical joke or something? That reporter's death was not an accident. She was on the phone with me before she died. Who is this? She was on to something. Something that could blow this city wide open. You need to understand. All right, I'm listening. So I'll be just tell me your name and we could talk about this. I'll be calling again. But you be careful. They're already watching you.